The Indiana Attorney General's office is now looking into the owner of Metro Fitness Athletic Club in Lafayette after the club closed down without properly honoring contracts. Many members are out hundreds of dollars with nowhere to go. News 18's Kayla Sullivan is live where the gym used to be. Kayla. Jeff and Gina, these doors officially closed on Thursday, but one man tells us he signed a one-year contract with Metro just a few days before. He says they had to have known they were going to close in advance, and the fact they still let him sign seems shady. Doors locked, regrets posted on the door. That's how many Metro Fitness Club members found out they wouldn't be working out here anymore. No forward notice whatsoever. I was wondering if I was going to get my money back or if they were going to make alternate arrangements, which they did. They told people Southside Health and Fitness would be honoring their contracts from now on. But Nelson says that's not the case anymore. Southside has stopped honoring Metro because Metro broke the contract and has not been paying Southside what they are due. Now I have a 16-month lease uh, contract that I don't have anywhere to use it. Southside Fitness says they'd love to help Metro Fitness members get their money back, but this really isn't their mess to clean up. The Southside owner has explained that now it's through the credit cards and that you pretty much has to have to dispute the claim. My worst fear is that I um, just won't get my money back and I won't be able to um, have anything to show for it. But there's one thing they're sure of. Never sign in the gym contract again. It's really made me think twice about ever going to a gym again, unfortunately. YouTube videos for now? Yeah, maybe YouTube videos for now. <laughs> Now, I did just receive a response from Southside Fitness. They say they are currently negotiating with Metro Fitness right now, and Metro members can currently work out on their facility, but just during regular staff hours. They should reach an official agreement within the next couple of days. Reporting live in Lafayette, Kayla Sullivan, News 18.